Hi, this is Kaylee, and let's figure out exactly how fast you need to go to escape the Earth and go flying out into space. So, the Earth's mass creates a gravity well, and this is how we try to represent it, where we have this kind of like indentation in space-time. And we do it in kind of like this method, but you got to understand this is in every direction. It looks something like that. And if something's in orbit, then it just swings around on the inside of this, thinking it's going along a straight line, but really it's in orbit around the Earth. So you got to understand how this picture works. To get away from the Earth and go flying out in space, you have to completely climb out of this gravity well to where you can go out into space and not just be in some type of orbit around the Earth. So we need to do a couple of things. First of all, some numbers we need to know. We need to know the mass of the Earth, the radius of the Earth that's from the Earth, the center of the Earth out to the surface, universal gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 to negative 11. But here's where we get into how, actually how to figure it out. This is equation for gravitational potential energy. Now, normally a lot of times people will see gravitational potential energy as mass times gravity times height. And that works if you're like near the Earth's surface. But since we're going to be away from the Earth's surface, we have to use this for potential energy. I know U seems weird, but a lot of times in physics we use U for potential energy and let the subscript G for potential energy due to gravity. A little negative sign, that's because we create a well, we've got a hole that we've got to climb out of in order to escape Earth's gravity and go flying away. And then we have kinetic energy is one half mv squared. And to get out of the Earth's gravity well, that potential energy and the kinetic energy, well, the kinetic energy has to completely cancel out that well and go flying off. So that's the very minimum. So if I start plugging things in, negative g mass of, in this case, the Earth, and then the mass of the spaceship over the radius plus one half. This will be the mass of the ship times the velocity squared. I want to move this over so we can get rid of that annoying little negative sign. So we get G mass of the Earth mass of the ship over the radius equals one half the mass of the ship times velocity squared. Now, this is one thing that we can do right here is that this is the mass of the ship and that's the mass of the ship. And since they're on the top on both sides of the equal sign, they cancel out. So the mass of the object actually doesn't make any difference whatsoever about escaping Earth's gravity well. It cancels out. So it doesn't matter how big the ship is, it needs to achieve this minimum velocity in order to escape. Now let's go ahead and start putting in some numbers. So G is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. The mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. Divided by the radius of the Earth, which is 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. That is going to equal one half the velocity we need to escape Earth's gravity. So let's go to my trusty calculator. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times 5.972 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.37. Whoops, almost made a mistake. 6.37 times 10 to the 6th equals that big number. Now we're going to move the 2 over, so times 2, and we get that. But that is v squared. So I want to take the square root of that, and when I do, we get 11183.25. That'll be meters per second, which is equal to the velocity you need to escape Earth's gravity. Now, let's make it a little bit nicer. So let's change that to kilometers. So that would be 11.18 kilometers per second in order to escape Earth's gravity. And a lot of times people say that's pretty much close to 
11.2 kilometers a second, which is the standard value you get in most books and on the internet. But that's how you can find the escape velocity of the Earth. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and tune in for some more physics. Thank you and goodbye.